Brenda Nyaringita and I'm the project lead of Engineer Ed. Engineer Ed is going to be a platform, a, web, a digital platform that uh, provides content for educators in Kenya uh, that summarizes the tough topics that students struggle with in either mathematics or physics and teaches these topics using coding concepts in a simplified manner for either high school or primary level um, students. Back in campus, I was struggling really to learn programming myself and I lacked a lot of um, access to either a laptop or the internet or even a smartphone to teach myself. And so I started to um, teach uh, high school kids programming under a program called Akira Chicks. And after this, sometime last year, uh, I started with a partner to now try and target only teachers and train them. So because of this, um, you know, several teaching, several um, um, uh, platforms that led me to teach and even learn, learn and love to teach uh, programming to young students, I, you know, came to realize what the problems were, how to better solve them, and that's how Engineer Ed came up. Our goal is then to have, if the math is that one teacher can actually impact hundreds of students with the same skills that we want, rather than us going county to county across Kenya, teaching students only. Initially, before Engineer Ed came to be, uh, the main beneficiaries were students, mostly high school students and a few primary level uh, students in Kenya. Uh, though last year we got a grant that enabled us to, to teach in a program under a partner called Angaza Elimu. We taught 128 students. This was now the first time that we were running this under the name of Engineer Ed. And then we had around uh, 10 schools, teachers from 10 schools, which were both maths and physics and other subjects, teachers who joined us into um, this program uh, to also go through the training for you know how to teach topics in maths and physics using coding concepts. My biggest success story so far has been um, receiving a grant from the IEEE. IEEE is the Institute of Electrical and uh, Electrical Engineers which has a program called Tri Engineering. So receiving an award of $2,000, which actually enabled us to run experiments and see if this concept that we had in mind was going to actually work. And through this uh, grant, we've now been encouraged. We are currently applying for even more even more grants. We got very many networks and also through this grant we made our first partnership with Angaza Elimu to actually um, run such workshops across various counties in Kenya and we managed to actually teach students from as far as um, the western region and even Embu and all across Kenya. Um, engineer at being young and still growing, we do not have direct access because none of us are teachers. Uh, we do not have direct access to students and during the COVID period it was really hard to keep up with the changing curriculum and even getting access to students. I have been very much passionate about social impact, however, even though my background is in engineering and I definitely see myself being one of the uh, you know, people who change laws or actually implement better curriculum in not just the Kenyan but in the African um, context, especially in EdTech. Um, so in my next to five to ten years, I hope to partner with more, more organizations that are actually running similar programs, not just in Kenya, but moving on to East Africa and countries all the way to the like West Africa, like Ghana. Um, I see myself also having, you know, um, integrated the content that we come up with into even the CBC because Kenya is currently moving into tech. And so I hope to have, you know, influenced that this kind of curriculum is implemented and incorporated within CBC. I see myself as, you know, having so much benefit from Zuri, uh, the Zuri community by, you know, connecting with these women, forming partnerships, getting even mentorship because I understand some are ahead of me. And even, you know, apart from that is, uh, I, I, I very much align with what Zuri Awards is looking for and that's empowering more women um, into, you know, social impact and business. And I, you know, in the future see myself as even benefiting Zuri by being uh, either a mentor or just a contributor to Zuri. When I think of the word break the bias, I look back to times when I was studying um, engineering and a lot of people were asking me, you know, why are there less ladies in engineering? And I trace back this issue to there are less ladies even taking physics and even fewer who enjoy mathematics. And therefore, Engineer Ed is looking to take these two subjects, maths and physics, make them fun, add projects, add some bit of programming and just make them very much enjoyable. 
Through this, we actually see this encouraging more students, especially young girls in high school, to take up physics. If more girls can take up physics and enjoy physics, then they will definitely enjoy innovation, engineering, and we'll get to see more um, ladies taking up engineering. And so that circles back to the whole theme of breaking the bias, breaking the bias of seeing engineering and physics as you know, male-dominated fields or careers.